likely key player in Ohio's largest corruption case is dead. NBC4 obtained a statement from the coroner's office and based on details, it appears Sam Randazzo, the former chairman of the State Public Utilities Commission, died today by suicide. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Sarah Johnson. Carrie Charles has the night off. NBC4's Isabel Cleary shows us the charges Randazzo was facing and how some lawmakers are reacting. Isabel? Colleen, Sarah, Randazzo was indicted on multiple federal charges, including fraud and bribery in December, and indicted again, but on state charges in February. The FBI searched his home in late 2020, and he resigned from the Public Utilities Commission days later. Now, Columbus police say they found the 74-year-old's body just before noon on Tuesday in a warehouse on East Mound Street. Many of us felt very highly about Sam. Uh, he was extraordinarily knowledgeable about utility issues, and I don't think anybody deserves this. Franklin County Auditor Records confirmed that the building Randazzo was found in was owned by a company that has been labeled by court documents as a shell company for him. Randazzo was indicted on those state charges alongside two former First Energy executives, all accused for their alleged role in the House Bill 6 scandal, which landed the former Speaker of the Ohio House in federal prison. The scandal was a multi-million dollar bribery scheme for First Energy, in which Randazzo is accused of accepting millions of dollars from the energy company to help pass a nuclear power plant bailout for the company. Many officials did not want to comment on his death Tuesday, but some are expressing their condolences for Randazzo's family. It's a profoundly sad thing, sad thing anytime that this happens, um, and I just uh, want to certainly express my condolences. He also adds that the House Bill 6 story has been a sad one from the start. And this whole HB6 saga since 2019 when this bill was introduced has been sad. I mean, it's obviously found to be uh, incredibly corrupt and um, people have paid with their lives. Um, family members have paid the price. Ohioans have paid the price for this bill. And the story is not going to go away um, because we've still got, you know, a big problem in this state. It's too soon to know what will happen with this case and with the other defendants. We reached out to the attorney general's office but have not heard back. NBC4 has also reached out to the governor's office as well as other Republican House and Senate leadership who all say they have no comment right now. Now, if you or anyone you know is thinking of suicide, help is available. The National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline can be reached at any time by calling 988.